Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Friday, October 2nd, TGIF. I am David Lehman, Bishop of Caledonia, and I am on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which I am most grateful. Our worship this evening is from the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. As we are in God's presence, let us take a moment to be still as we come into our time of worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our worship this evening, our, our psalm for this evening, is Psalm 91, found on page 448. Psalm 91, page 448. We shall say the psalm together. Whoso dwelleth under the defense of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I will trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine own eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the ungodly. Because thou hast said, The Lord is my refuge, and hast made the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways, that they shall bear thee in their hands, and thou not hurt thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening begins in the sixth chapter of the Gospel of Luke, beginning at the twelfth verse. Now, during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when he came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James and John, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who is called the Zealot. Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. 
Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together that te look to sante tuminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us all thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. 
Amen. We say together the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Call it for this week. O Lord, we beseech thee, let thy continual pity cleanse and defend thy church. And because it cannot continue in safety without thy succor, preserve it evermore by thy help and goodness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulcher, and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a bed of hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to lift up before God your prayers and petitions for this night, either aloud or in the comments box where we may all share with you or in the silence of your hearts as we pray. We pray for all who are suffering from the coronavirus this night. For those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds. For those who are at home. For those who don't have access to state-of-the-art medical care. Who are suffering uh, in communities where there's limited access to the resources and where there is uh, much fear and trepidation. We pray for those who are in uh, facilities that are shut down, thinking again of long-term care facilities in this province that have had, that have had uh, repeated outbreaks. For those who are cut off from family and friends and visiting physically, they, they may be blessed with uh, uh, virtual visits. We pray for doctors, nurses, medical staff, family and friends who have care of them, and for all long-term care workers. We pray for first responders and essential workers, that they may be kept safe and strengthened, and that they may be filled with an abundance of compassion. We pray for all who are caught up in systemic racism, for those who find themselves unable to access and have uh, medical care, fair treatment and justice. We pray for all who lead us at this time, praying for those in municipal and First Nations, for those who lead us provincially and for those who are allowing their names to stand and who are campaigning in these days for the provincial election, for all who are called to vote and uh, to ensure that they are registered and able to do so and 
um, exercise that freedom with uh, great conviction. We pray for all who lead us nationally and internationally. Praying for all who lead us in commerce, that they may have care of their customers and staff as a prime focus of their work. As it is Friday and we pray and remember how Jesus rested in the sepulcher, we pray for all who grieve and mourn at this time. For those who have been unable to mourn and have public uh, services and memorials as they are accustomed to, and for those who are, have been unable to travel to funerals, for those who are finding it difficult to give voice to their loss, both of loved ones and other losses that have occurred in these days. It's the beginning of October and we're reminded that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so we pray for those who grieve the loss of loved ones uh, to breast cancer. Pray for those who have uh, borne witness to the survival and, and give thanks for the medical work that has gone on to increase the survival rate. Giving thanks for people like uh, my aunt and Bishop Victoria Matthews, a mentor, and remembering those men who, who can be afflicted with breast cancer as well, and thinking of Father David Johnson, um, a mentor and success, a predecessor of mine in ministry who died a few months ago from complications due to breast cancer. We pray for all who are... Um, struggling with employment, struggling to, uh, as things transition and change within the federal support systems, for those who are anxious about uh, making in the ends meet and being able to support themselves and loved ones. We pray for employers that are anxious about keeping all their employees on and for the work that they are called to do. We pray for all uh, who are in need of care at this time, and for those whom you've named, and as we offer up our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I invite your thanksgivings and your praises uh, for this day and this week that has passed. I am uh, thankful for the leadership of uh, Archbishop Melissa, uh, in uh, all aspects of the province, province's life and praying for her tomorrow, uh, a prayer of thanksgiving that uh, what has been a very busy fall will, um, one of the high points for her will be the uh, electoral synod tomorrow to determine who her successor will be. So I'm sure the people of New West aren't feeling as thankful today as they are, or they might tomorrow, um, and I'm sure the candidates aren't, as, uh, but thankful that we have a process in which the God's people discern who is called to be a bishop and to lead a diocese. And, um, and I'm thankful for those who have let their name stand and for the vote that will happen tomorrow. I am thankful for um, opportunities to visit with uh, uh, colleagues 
and to continue uh, trying to pull things together um, for the liturgies of the diocese for the next few weeks. I invite you to add your thanksgivings as well aloud or in the comment section as we offer our prayer. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank Thee for all Thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women. We praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou Lord alone, O Lord, that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night, and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our time of prayer this evening, and for our holy hug as we get ready to head off to bed. Um, I invite you to join us as you're able tomorrow for our morning prayer at 8 a.m. with Pastor Don out of St. Mark's in Dawson Creek. At 12.15, we jump to the other side of the diocese and join the dean for midday prayer. And uh, uh, Father Wilfred is taking tomorrow's a, a rest day to be with his family. So his spiritual journey uh, will be with his family. Uh, I will be back, God willing, tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. to uh, lead another service of Compline. Until then, may you have a most restful night and join the morning. Nighty night.